look at this tier 3 Swedish premium light tank, the 43M Tordia 3 light tank. It is the lowest tier premium tank you can get for Sweden. Um, so yeah, we'll take a look at the stats of this vehicle, see how it, the stats looks like, and also take it out into a battlefield, see how it performs on a battlefield. Uh, but before we get completely started today, I'd like to know who enjoyed last night's video, uh, which was the video clips I took while I was on my vacation uh, down in Miami, Florida, which was pretty much fun, um, doing some snorkeling and seeing some gators in a gator farm don't worry they're not wild gators <laughs> but it was a lot of fun and uh, i'd like to know if any of you have watched it if you have the you liked it and stuff like that uh but i guess enough for the jibber jabber about that stuff uh let's take a look at this tier 3 uh swedish um premium light tank to be honest i really kind of don't really particularly care for this thing but well what I don't care for, you. some of you guys might actually like this thing. Uh, some of you might actually like how this thing is and stuff. Um, you know, whatever I do, well, what I'm trying to say is, it doesn't matter on what I care for in the vehicle. Uh, the stats, if you guys prefer this type of vehicle and stuff, let me know in the comments if you, what you think it's good about this vehicle. But standardly, this vehicle gets three types of ammunition, AP, APCR, and HE. Uh, standard AP gets 64 meters of penetration, APCR gets 80 meters of penetration, and HE gets 20. 45 da uh, damage, the alpha damage is 45 for both AP and APCR, and around 60 for HE. Hit points is 365, uh, max speed is 47 miles per hour, B range is 316, and concealment is 311. Now, to keep in mind that this is a premium tank, so it only gets a selection of one gun. It gets a 40mm 37-42M dot L45 gun. The rate of fire is 29.77. Accuracy got 100 meters is 0.42. We've already talked about the damage and the penetration. It can carry up to 87 rounds. And like I said, AP, APCR, and HE rounds. My equipment upon this tank is improved ventilation, crew performance is 5%, uh, advanced gun lane drive, show aiming speed is 12%, and then advanced powertrain, max speed is 5%, and horsepower, max horsepower is 5% as well. And that's something I just always keep on every tank I have. Uh, consumables, we have repair kit, first aid, and ferroxinger. And then I put at least 77 rounds of uh, AP. Five rounds of APCR and five rounds of HE. Never know when you're going to need the HE rounds, so yeah. And premium rounds at this tier, well, I mean, you, you never know when you're going to need it because you are going. Remember, you are a tier three, so there is some tier two tanks, um, maybe even a couple of tier three tanks that so you might need some of the premium rounds. If you want to carry more, it's up to you. I just personally carry five in the tank um, because, well, I guess. I enjoy carrying five. <laughs> uh, other people might enjoy carrying a little bit more than that, but um, down here at these tiers, you are going to face some French tanks that does seem pretty well armored, but in a way, it's just the way how they're angled and all that. But uh, yeah, let's look at my commander. Uh, she only has six cents, uh, which means when you get spotted, it will let you know. But there is a little delay when you get spotted, but if you really don't want to take six, take six cents because on World Tanks console, you do already get something that really lets you know that when you get spotted, so it's really like a a uh, a uh, perk that's already given to you to get let you know. So if you want to take something else, go right ahead. Um, what other thing I would take? Probably take a snapshot. Uh, twelve in, twelve percent increase to accuracy during turn rotation or um steady aim which is temps increase to accuracy and stuff but yeah uh, depending on which way you want to take this tank uh, remember there is no high tier light tanks for sweden so whatever you pay on this commander you are probably going to be using it for your high tier vehicles as well if you're willing to do that my other thing up on here is a uh, ready uh ready rapid loading now why, why do i want to say 
really. Uh, it's <laughs> 10% increase to gun reload speed. I add this to every commander I have for light tanks, medium tanks, heavy tanks, uh, tank destroyers, even part even artillery commanders, uh, because this adds a 10% increase into reload speed. Um, I think you can also, because this is for the commander, uh, for your perks and stuff, it doesn't matter if you have an auto loader, it does, I, I guess you could say, it does help with the auto loaders as well. Um, I think I do have on some of my commanders for auto loaders, so yeah. And I, oh, that's not what I want. Oops, my bad, my bad. Let's look at the armor. Because this tank, even though it's a light tank, it's always good to know your armor thickness and spawn spots because, what's to say if you, like, take your tank and angle up like this a little bit, use your gun depression, you're definitely going to be bouncing some shots sometimes. Um, even though if it's a light tank, sometimes you could bounce a shot. I've seen some stupid, ridiculous bounces like I've said in previous videos and stuff, but yeah. Let's get right into it. We got six meter sickness, which is the belly of the tank, the engine deck, um, sort of above and below the gun mantlet, and the upper part of the butt. Then you have 10 meter sickness, which is the lower part of the butt, the um, turret roof, and the commander's uh, roof as well, or commander's capoed roof, and the gun and the tracks, which again tracks like, like space armor. So shooting HE at it is not going to be as effective. Because the tracks are going to eat the HEF shell up. Then you have 13 meter sickness, which is the, well, the gun mount a little, little bit. The top of the gun mount, always way around the um, commander's capoa, the sides, both left and right of the hull. Then we have 20 meter sickness, which is the lower plate, the upper plate of the hull, and the turret ring, it looks like. Uh, we have 25 meter sickness, which is the sides of the turret, and it looks like also, yep, the rear of the turret as well. Uh, then we have 35 meter sickness, which is the driver's port, um, that little bar behind the driver's port, and the full gun mantlet as well, with also a piece within the gun that never really makes too much sense, but I guess it's wargaming for you. But yeah, that's the armor of this little light tank. Um, I mean, aside from that, I guess that's I guess that's it, there, guys, in the garage for the. Uh, Talking about this uh, little Swedish light tank, um, I guess it's time to get, take her up out into the battlefield and see how she performs against either tier fours um, or maybe tier twos. We'll never know. <laughs> we ain't gonna know until we get into the battlefield. But that's not for the jibber driver, the guys. I hope you guys are well. Not. Uh, I kind of lost my tongue there. <laughs> I guess I'll see you guys on the battlefield. See you guys there. So guys, we're back on Cliff, and well, this was a, a, a decent enough game to show this vehicle's strength, I guess, as you say. Um, like all Swedish vehicles, and I don't know if I said this in the past or not, in the last two Swedish videos I've done, um, but Swedish vehicles are pretty excellent with their gun depression. We are top tier in this game, though, so yeah. Um, though you are a light tank, so don't be expe expecting the big bouncing every shot. I mean, every year or so I've done, maybe, yeah, but, well, don't, don't lie on point on bouncing shots when you're a light tank. Because when you are, you're not going to bounce. And that's the, uh, downside for a light tank. Doesn't matter what country it is, it's... If you rely upon your armor, you're basically just going to not bounce. You're just going to take pen after pen after pen. So, yeah. <laughs> I guess in a way, say that at this tier, you definitely want to expect on your armor a lot. Um, I mean, because once you get past tier 3, because it's not going to take you that long to get past tier 3, but once you do, you're definitely going to be seeing some bigger guns that is really going to wreck you at higher tiers. And trust me, we're going to be seeing those higher tier tanks once we're done with tier 3s and the other... Well, I have another two more tier 3 tanks as premiums to show off and two more tier 2s two to show off as well. But we come over here to this bush, we spot this uh, Chinese Sanctuary. I fired twice 
Come took a snapshot of me, try shooting me. And but here is a big thing to show off using bush mechanics. And I was still spotted, so I stay still for too long, but now I'm not spotted anymore. But uh, yeah, we come up back up here to these bushes, we keep them spotted. And as long as you stay like here, like this far away from the bushes, you can actually wreck them without them seeing you. Unless there's a right tank on your side of the bushes and stuff. But as you can see, I want to keep on trying to go forward at the bushes that keep them spotted for myself. My team is sort of hitting them, I think. Um, but we are definitely lighting those tanks up. A tank destroyer, heavy tank, and I think a medium tank back there somewhere. Um, but I'm gonna try to do a different, uh, like, way, a different location a little bit. We see this little, uh, Chinese tank destroyer. Really fun little model, little tank destroyer. And we do hit him, we get spotted, because there's a, I think, a light tank over there. We get behind this rock, we're waiting to, we are, our detection goes off. And does it go off soon? There we go, it goes off. Now, but you know, there's, I think, at least four players on my team and an enemy team. I am the fourth player on my team, I think. But, yeah. Dick Bob shot, we get spotted. I think heavy. We do get hit by the Japanese heavy tank. And I get hit again. And I try to shoot him, but miss because we went over the little bomb. So, yeah. My artillery friend is definitely helping out, trying to hit this guy, trying to keep him spotted, and we are definitely doing that, but will we take him out, or will someone else, oh, there we go, okay, artillery takes him out, I'm coming back over here, this is, I guess you could say this is my mistake right here, I should have just left this area, but I didn't, my artillery is trying to fire, he hits me, I hit him, he is a bot after all, I bounce off his butt, um, <laughs> now I'm playing basically a pop out, try to shoot him, and his shot missed, but my shot didn't this time, and I'm not missing, I'm using lock aim, still shooting him, still damaging him, he sets me on fire, I pad the fire with my fire finisher, and, oh, he takes me out. Yeah, not good. But what do I think about this tank? Well, I mean, whatever I think about it, you might think different. Um, everybody has their own opinions on what tank they like and what tank they don't like. So, what I think of this thing, it's alright, but it's not the best. I gotta say, my favorite Swedish low tier tank is the Tech Tree tank. It's, um, you can easily get it by off the bat, especially if you're a new player. Uh, actually, I think that was my first ace tanker um, on <laughs> a tank. But, well, you see, I'm trying to see who's a bot because Wargaming changed the names to be where it's kind of harder to, to tell who's a bot. And this is, uh, look here, so that guy's okay, so a player, which is artillery, I think, or artillery players, is always basically a player but you can tell who's an Xbox player than a PlayStation but if you're playing PlayStation the names can kind of get confusing I guess but that's really matter as long as you're doing some damage and doing some uh, well, of the enemy players uh, you'll be getting some decent XP but sadly we got bots on our team that's left I mean, what are you going to expect at low tiers? I mean, this is where players are just going to begin. But I just want new players to stand these type of tanks if they want to buy some premiums, maybe. If you want to spend any money on these premiums and stuff. But this tank, like I said, depending on if you like it or not. But that's the end of the battle. And uh, yeah. That's probably going to be the end of this video, here, guys. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, please leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys want to. And like always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye. For now.